Okie dokie, you guys. So my desk is still a mess, so we're sitting here in the craft room floor. That's what my uh, filming section looks like over there. I did some uh, sorting of some embossing folders. Woo! We have another sparkly fingering weight yarn here. That is really, really pretty. That's going to look really pretty up against that hot pink, too, just saying. Let's see what else we've got. Ooh. So this is another Peyton's acrylic yarn. Super duper soft and squishy. That's going to be really, really nice. You, I'm pretty excited. These are going to be fun to work with. Sorry, I'm like overly distracted. The cats are in there making like all sorts of noises and stuff. And I'm just dreading like going in there and seeing what they're destroying this time. <laughs> Hey guys, so I ended up having to run down to the post office to drop stuff off again, so I figured I'd go ahead and check my P.O. box while it was down there, and I did have three new cards down there. So I got one from Gary over at Urban Yarns, and of course it had a super sweet note in it. Thank you so much. I just love Christmas cards in particular, but cards in general. I love looking at the artwork. I know I just sit here and kind of like stare at these cards when I share them, but that's kind of why. I just, I really do love looking at them. The next one I got, let's try to hold my camera with my left hand, <laughs> is from Michelle. And how pretty is this? It's another one of the Thomas Kincaid cards. I'm always fascinated with artist who can add just such rich dimension and artwork the Kincaid lights obviously being one of the like really really awesome versions of that and then this one is from Miss Auntie Vernon and I don't know if you guys ever pay attention to like the cards that are the front doors and like picture walking into the houses that you see and being a part of the moment. You know, this is your friend's house or your in-law's house or your parent's house. And I don't know. Maybe I'm weird. Well, I know I'm weird. But maybe this is another example of me being weird. But I love it. Anyway, I'm getting ready to go eat me some lunch. So I will check in with you guys shortly. I did want to share with you guys real quick how, you can see how gross and disgusting it is out there. It's another rainy day here. But I did want to share all my pretty cards hanging up. Now we're over to this side. You can tell exactly how short I am <laughs> based on where everything ends. As it progresses, if I need to go all the way down, I'll uh, grab my step stool and fill in on the top. But... <laughs> It's always so funny to me because I can only go five, five tall before I have to move on over. Holy cats, you guys. So the real feel outside is still 20 something degrees and it's almost three o'clock in the afternoon. So I opted for an indoor workout. I still have 30 minutes left to go because I decided after 45 minutes of cardio, why not let's go ahead and start reintegrating yoga as a regular part of my workout. <sighs> yeah, so Monday it rained. Yesterday was freezing. Today it was freezing and raining. The temperature is like 36 and it's still on and off raining. 
real feel is still like, I think when I checked out last time, it was like 26 still. I'm not going out. There's no way I'm walking outside. And it's more or less supposed to kind of be like this through Christmas. So I have a feeling there will be a lot of midday workout. <laughs> Dates with me sitting here going, no. Walking is so easy. I can literally walk forever. And I love my Leslie Sansone workouts. Don't get me wrong. They're not high impact. They're very easy on the joints. I found them actually through a forum specifically to help with uh, people recovering from workout or stress related injuries. But it's moving your body in multiple directions. My body likes to go in just one direction still. You know, that whole momentum thing. You know, once an object's in motion, it kind of wants to stay in the same motion. Yeah. There's also a lot of jumping. So, like, my calves are actually sore, which is one of the reasons why I decided I'll go ahead and throw in some yoga, too. It's actually not a bad workout. There, I have done the first six series on the set that I've got. It's called uh, Namaste Yoga. If I think about it, I'll throw a link down in the description box for the, uh, today I did Leslie Sansone hit with party hits, H I T T. Um, but I'll also throw the yoga DVD out on there. If they've still got it on Amazon. Cause it's actually a really good at home program, at least for the first DVD. If you still have a DVD player, I'm, uh, kind of old school dude like my skin is totally puddling in my ears and it's really weird looking all right <laughs> I did my post cardio stretches that's why I'm already laying here on the yoga mat all right let's get it over with then I can take a shower get dinner made and chill out we're watching Cobra Kai, finally. We finished season one last night. Poor Johnny. That's all I gotta say. Poor Johnny. <laughs> all right, you guys. Let's finish this up. Hey, guys. I just want to pop in real quick, show you what the uh, yarn for today looks like going into the shawl up against the pink there. We, uh... Really didn't do anything interesting after I checked in earlier today, so I'm going to leave it here for y'all. I hope y'all have had a great day. I love y'all, and I'll see y'all tomorrow.